Hey there. Welcome back to another scam. As in, like, I'm going to call the scammer. I've just had a missed call from this scammer. I'm going to call them back now. I don't have anything planned. Let's just put it on speaker. Oh, no, the call failed. Damn it. Hang on, they, they called twice from two different numbers. I'll try the other number. Bit nervous. Oh. Hi, you have reached Sally. Please leave a message after the beep. Who? Sally. Lame. That's not what I wanted. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Oh well. Mission aborted. Okay guys, this is going to be a decider for whether I'm going to continue with tarot. I don't particularly know if I'm going to be doing it anymore. So we're going to see. Okay, so this is just to see if I'm going to be doing tarot moving forward. Um, as you can see, I can't see where the camera is. Okay, we're going to go in, um, this is my baby deck. Um, we're going to do a quick reading. I, look, I don't want to look bad. Okay, hang on. So, hang on, let me turn this off. It's really loud. Uh, okay. So, you guys, this is going to be... Welcome back to Tarot with Tamiya. We're going to be exploring tarot today and seeing if this is going to be a tarot channel. We're going to see what the energies are like. So, we've got a 13, a 5 of spades, a 9 of spades. Um, a six of diamonds, a nine of hearts, and an eight of hearts. Okay, we're just going to look at these for now. So, this is showing me that straight away you are lucky, you're a lucky person, because lucky 13. I think as long as your heart's in the right place and you're doing good intentions, you're lucky, you're going to coast through life. Because remember, the universe does reward action. So even if you feel like you're at a crossroads or like there's no hope, no hope going forward, or you know you don't know how, you know, just luck is on your side. If you just remember that you're lucky, then it just makes it just easier to manifest good situations because you know they're gonna ultimately work in your favor. So yeah, the universe has got you, and infinite love is gonna be happening if if you just embrace all that stuff. Because look at all the hearts. 21 hearts altogether. Uh, I think my dog just farted. I, I can't tell. Um, and then the five here. This is telling me like five of spades. It's like, go off. Go off, girl. Like, pop off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the devil was once an angel. So you've still got like this, with this luck, right? You've got luck. With what I was saying before, the story in, in these cards, it's sort of vibrant luck. Like, mixed with this kind of, like, standing up for yourself sort of, like, vibe. It, it shows, like, you're a very powerful, balanced individual. Like, you're very, you're very here, you're very now. <laughs> if that makes sense. And, but, oh yeah, always remember to stay present. You've been taking it one step at a time, you've come to the nine, and... To get to 10, you've got to release 9. So, as you can see, you've got the two 9s. So they can cancel out. You've got a pair. Like, that's how I would... Like, if you're trying to get rid of these, you've got... You don't need to worry about that. Like that, you know what I mean? Thank you. Uh, you're bringing in 13 of diamonds. All right. And then these two cards here, which is like the 2 and the 3 of... Well, 2 of clubs, 3 of spades. That's interesting. So these might represent options that you have, you know, it, you know, like you might, you might get this and find, find encouragement with these messages here. And then you might be thinking like, okay, I've got to let go of this. 
I've got to let go of something. Because the best way of bringing new opportunities and new bad things is to like let go of stuff that you don't no, no longer want. Because you can have heaps of stuff, but it's not gonna. If you're too attached to it, you're always going to be sort of like not happy because your 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 energy is too far out. Like you need to bring it into you, right? So you do that by releasing stuff. You just go. Nothing's holding me here. I can just walk out the door tomorrow. You know what I mean? Or right now in the middle of this reading. See you later. You know what I'm saying? That's that vibe energy. <laughs> Um, two and three just to, just to have a equal five. And that's holding that now. Yeah. Um, guys, English is not my first language, so just bear with me if I make mistakes. Okay, so, yeah, so you've got the this three. I was thinking that maybe this is representing your options, but two is like trust, trust the universe. Three is like new beginning. And then 13, luck. So it comes back all the way to this 13 here. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So it's almost like with the ace, it's like you are the creator of your own reality. You have the power and the magic in you to be able to manifest anything that you imagine. Anything that you imagine, you can get it. You won't have to even try so hard. Like, you'll just, it'll just come to you because you're imagining the vibration of it. Like, if you go, oh, I need this, it's going to be, you know, by the time I get this and this, I'll be happy. No. And this is the universe going, reassuring you that, like, you don't need to... I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> I think I got too many cards. <laughs> I think that's a good message, though. I reckon overall it's showing me... I don't know. What about... Can we get one final little baby card? Final card. Oh, I got two again. Okay, so King. Bye.